All right, let's go crude oil. We had a beautiful bicep buy set up this morning. Beautiful buy set up. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. I love this Renko chart because it's so dynamic uh, off of uh, off of uh, the profile charts of trend. You, you, what we have is we have our three profiles stacked on top of each other, and this is how I'm going to have Ninja Eight set up that um, we're working on right now. Is that this is a beautiful buy setup right here on a break retest? Remember, the only time that you want to trade this blue thick line is with overall trend direction. If the trend filter, it's very easy. Our trend filter is up. You can see our magenta MA is up or, or angled up. So if it's angled up, you want to buy retracements. You get three shots at longs. You can buy LVA. We have a stack level down here. You can buy 65, or you can buy a break retest of HV. Here's a stack level. Here's a wall right here. So our next buy signal is going to be 4901, 4903. Our last buy signal is at the control point. So you get three shots at an uptrend. It's very simple. I got three of my profiles stacked on top of each other off of on the black chart. And you can put this on your own system. It works on all markets right across the board. In fact, the DAX had a beautiful buy signal at the lows here. And so the S&P here, here this morning. If you look at it, you want to, uh, it, the first thing you do is when you first log in is look at your trend filter. If your trend filter is angled up, then you want to buy retracements. If it's angled down, you want to sell retracements. So if, you, if it's angled up, you only get three shots at going long this morning on crude. You have three shots. We're not selling crude. We're smarter than that. We're not using stochastics. We're not using moving averages. All those lagging indicators that novice traders lose money uh, with. We're looking at the overall trend directions up. So we, we need to be a buy retracement trader. And if we're going to do that, what we have to do is we have to look at our profiles. Now, the most important profile that you're going to have in this room, whether you put it on your own system or view it in the room, are these big, thick lines. This big, blue, thick line, that's the most volume that's been traded since it's been profiling the market since midnight. So that's the most volume that's traded right here, right here. In this session, I call it session after midnight. So in the crude session, that's the most volume is traded. It is very, very, very important that that is a great support level or resistance level to trade off of on any market you trade. I don't care what you trade. If the trend is up, you should look for a simple break retest, a break higher, a retest, and then try to go long. All right? So that's a simple ABC. Right now, we're looking for another ABC. Here's a high value area. <clears throat> we don't want a short high value in an uptrend. We're smarter than that. The method, set, the method says look for an ABC long here. Let it break out what you did. Let it retest, which we're going to. So this, is, this is the next trade we're looking for. Look at this stacked area. I got my volume profile, HDA, my big red thick line sitting right there. I got my thin line, which is my developing, and my price profile right there. So that's the next ABC. That's your second buy setup. Your third buy setup, because news comes out today, crude oil inventories, you may have a V bottom down here. You want a hard uptrend. So the market can come all the way down to 65 and look for a V bottom. And that's the only three chances you have with buying the market today. This is it. It's very simple. Market profile is very simple to read. Because what I've done is I've, I've, I've included three profiles on one chart to find stack levels for support and resistance. And this is not lagging. I can, I can project a future trade right now. We're at 49.17, and we're going to try to get long from 49 to 49.03. So I know within a couple ticks where my long side setup is on my next setup. I know within a couple ticks I need to look at buying at 63.65. So that, that's what makes profile side dynamics I've been working for 32 years, is that we don't use 30-minute market profiles like a standard trader does because they just don't work on a day-to-day -day basis. I use longer-term institutional profiles. Because the algorithms control these markets. We're electronically traded market. So those are the three, three setups we have today. So when it came, when, when we broke out of the control point this morning and retested the control point, look how my reversal bar happened right on this Renko bar. Now, this is a five sim Renko bar. I'd love to use this with my market delta. Now, look how market delta turned right with it. Now, check this out. In trend markets, when these two match, you have yourself a dynamic situation to get long the market or short the market. Look how I had a major buy imbalance of 573 on market delta. 
Remember, we let market profile set the trade up with trend direction. Then we let market delta and my turn on my Renko bar, if it's a trend market, to pop you in the trade. Now, you can see that the long side setup, your fill was here. Your fill was a close of the Renko, 48.91. We've got as high as what, 26.27. So it's moved a good, you know, 30, what, 37, 36 ticks, almost 40 ticks. That's almost $400 per one contract. Your maximum risk is 130 bucks. We put a, a 13 tick stop in. Now on brick walls, you can play my videos, we can buy like gold was this morning. Gold was a brick wall. You can put limit orders on this. You don't have to wait for market delta to turn. In other words, I know this is a rejected level right here, sitting right here at this level. So if you're going to put a limit in on a buy on crude, the lowest market profile is 49. The highest is 49.03. Split the difference is 49.01 and a half. So you can literally put a limit order in at 49.02 to 49.01 with a hard stop. Now, right when the market starts turning on my Renko bar, over here, I mean on my J signal, which I'll show you right here, if it turns a positive green bar, you can place your stop two ticks below the swing low. In other words, you can have a stop of right around five to six ticks on a possible runner of 40 to 60, 70, 80 ticks. Only on brick walls with three times confluence. And I'll show you it happened this morning. Go over on gold real quick, Gerald. Let me show you I can put a limit order in on these, on these levels. They're so dynamic. Go to gold, Gerald. Gold, GC. Thank you, man. All right. We can see that gold had a huge sell-off. Look at my Renko bars. All the way down. Red, 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 red. But it came into, see my moving averages were up. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance, but trend direction. So the trend was up. This is what's called a shark bite trade. Look at my triple stacked area. Now here, I had my developing profile sitting at 1342.50 at the time. My volume profile, which is my solid green line, sitting at 4270. My price profile, which is my green dotted line, sitting at 4270. So I look at I look at 50 and 70, split the difference, which 60. So you got filled. Check this guy out. You got filled on a brick wall right at the low at 4260. I think the low is 40. Two ticks below the swing low. You had a four tick stop on that trade. Four tick stop, 4260 to over 45. Over $300 trade with a $40 risk. That's how you put limit orders in on brick walls with trend direction. You can counter them if they're stacked, but it better be the first test. All right, so it's a real neat way how to do it on a brick wall. You can put limit orders in right at the brick. Sure, I'll go back to crude real quick. We'll shut this off. So I know, I know as a trader, that I got three shots at taking this long right now. The first shot was a break retest of the control point. The second shot I'm going to get is right now at the high value area. I'm stacked right here. There's three profiles in this black chart before I shut off. The big red thick line is high value. The thin line's developing. The dots are price profile. Been around since 1985. When they come within a couple ticks of each other, you have a stacked area. So I got, I, got, I got a potential second test trade at this stacked area. I got a first test trade at this stacked area. And I got a triple stack here, 49 to 49.03, right? And that's how you can trade these markets based upon these profiles. The profile is mapping the market for you. My profiles are mapping the market for you. It's giving you a leading indicator to map it out. That's how we do it. All right, these are not lagging indicators. This is actually taking the volume from the market. All these algorithms coming in the market. Goldman Sachs, all these institutional traders, all these prop firms, hedge funds, banks. And it's spitting out these support and resistance levels. This is not my opinion. It's not your opinion. It's the dynamics of the market. And we've got this nailed down really good because we know where she should turn based upon our profile stacking. All right, Gerald, go ahead and shut that off. That's how we do things in the room.